New details after a heartless act is all caught on camera. We're now hearing from animal advocates today after a dog is dumped at a park in Miami and animal shelters are reaching capacity. Local 10's Alex Finney is joining us live from Northwest Miami-Dade with, with what they have to say tonight. Alex. Well, Christy and Janice, you know, this dog that was dumped here is really just part of the larger issue, right? We're talking about shelters and whether or not shelters even have the space and the capacity to take in animals. So we spoke with different animal advocates around South Florida today to hopefully find some solutions to the problem. You see a woman pull up and leave her dog in a park off 62nd Street in Miami and then drive away, leaving this poor animal abandoned and confused. As you can see in the video, she's running behind the car that left her because that's all she knows. Jennifer DeLitz rescued her and took her to a shelter. It's this video that speaks to a larger problem in our animal community. They have dogs inside in their own shelter. Hello? Miami-Dade Animal Services under scrutiny for how the dogs at the old Medley shelter are being cared for. And those fans that are there just blow hot air, so it's not, the animals have to really be suffering, that's for sure. MDAS gave us a tour of the shelter last week. As you can see, the facility is extremely clean. They have food, they have clean water that they can drink. But animal advocates such as Michael Rosenberg calling foul saying that this was all for the cameras and does not speak to the true day to day care, claiming that the dogs are truly living in deplorable conditions. They're stuck in these cages with not enough people to walk them, trying not to go to the bathroom. Miami-Dade Animal Services in response to that in a statement to Local 10 said that dedicated kennel staff care for the pets and that the enrichment team visits the Medley facility twice a week. With the explosion of surrenders, shelters are basically at full capacity, leaving heartbreaking images like this. So we hear the concern and now for a solution. Rosenberg says there really are only three options. That's one solution. Turn all the animals, just turn them away. And the second solution is just keep warehousing them. And then sadly, the last choice is to go back to what we used to do, which is killing for space euthanasia again. Those are the only three choices for the immediate solution. And that last option there, of course, nobody wants to see that. So I do just want to give you a little bit of up, a little bit of an update on that dog that you saw there at the top of the story, Sunflower. Sunflower hopefully will be up for adoption soon. We know that right now she is in with a foster family at the moment, and they do believe that she may also be pregnant. So some puppies to come. Here's the thing. We have been following this story from the very beginning. We did an in-depth story on Friday. We have it over on our website, local10.com. Last note before I let you go, we also know that animal advocates are planning a bit of a rally here in South Florida to really bring attention to this issue that will be happening in August. We'll fill you in on those details. For now, this is the very latest live in Northwest Miami-Dade. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.